Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Jeff Borick. Hope you're enjoying the ECHL, AHL, and World Junior Hockey that's been going on today. But I hope you all are able to continue to subscribe to show your love and support down below or on the easy-to-use widget up above. But let's get into it as the ECHL unfortunately announces another postponement besides Reading and Worcester. They also postponed the Atlanta Gladiators at the Jacksonville Iceman scheduled for Tuesday, December 28th. This also gives me an opportunity to do the um, holiday reports for both of those teams. As when it comes to the Atlanta Gladiators, they sit at 12, 11, and 1. The Gladiators team on the season has 70 goals scored, 73 goals against, one overtime win, one shootout loss, and two overtime losses. The big issue for the Gladiators this year is their special team sucks. Uh, they got to get the power play going. They have 85 power plays, only nine goals scored. <clears throat> they have 79 penalty kills to 101 penalty kill opportunities, so their penalty kill is significantly better than their power play. But not being able to capitalize again and again and again on the power play is obviously very damning to a team to be able to have success in the season because that's a very big momentum killer and a momentum booster for your opponent to then not lead and sprinkle into your 5-on-5 five -five struggles as well, which you see with the Gladiators. They need to have better 5-on-5 five -five play, but I think their struggles on 5-on-5 five -five are similar to the Edmonton Oilers at the NHL level, which is... Um, or, no, excuse me, is similar to teams at the NHL level like the Philadelphia Flyers who struggled on the power play and then also struggled mightily on 5-on-5. Five five. It sprinkles into the play where sometimes that doesn't happen, where sometimes those teams are just great on the power play like the Edmonton Oilers. That's why I had them in my head. And then they still don't do good 5-on-5, five five, and that's how they win hockey games. But the Atlanta Gladiators, they could be much better than their 12-11 and 11 record in some of these close games they ended up losing if they're able to just get the power play going, capitalize there, and then not have that struggle sprinkle into their 5-on-5 five five play. So that is basically my two cents on the Atlanta Gladiators thus far. They have scored a good amount of shorthanded goals, so on top of their penalty kill being solid, they have seven shorthanded goals. So that's obviously a good thing. And then 78% on the penalty kill percentage is not bad, but 11 is pitiful on the power play. But now, <clears throat> as we're doing this one, let's go, as I can't find them here, do, 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 to the Jacksonville Icemen, who are 17-8-1 and one, um, with a 63 win percentage, who has 84 goals scored, 66 goals against. So obviously, they're one of the better teams there, leading to their very good record. They have two overtime wins, only one overtime loss. Uh, they as well are not very good on the power play, so that's obviously not coming back to bite them in the butt because they are a fantastic 5-on-5 team. So they have that <coughs> flip where, like I said, it doesn't always go hand-in-hand, hand, but um, you do see it with certain teams where they do not do very well, like Atlanta, for example, when they're struggling on power play, it sprinkles into their 5-on-5 play. Obviously, for the Jacksonville Icemen, they're one of the better 5-on-5 teams being able to, not one of the better, but one of the good 5-on-5 five five teams being able to get it done, having the 85 goals scored to 66 goals again. The power play, if that can get it going, that's just an added bonus at this point. Well, you would think with the good 5-on-5 five five play in Converse, that will eventually be able to get the power play going that's only at 17%, but their penalty kill is also immaculate. Six shorthanded goals to seven for the Atlanta Gladiators, but their 84% is obviously, I think it was 6% higher than I said for the Gladiators. So they're playing very good this season. The Jacksonville Icemen, they basically just have to keep what they're doing on 5-on-5 five five play defensively. They just need to try to get their special teams going power play-wise. And then they're the full package because the Icemen's team has been very good and very immaculate on the ice this year. Where the Gladiators have to try to get their better 5-on-5 five five play going, a better power play, and then continue to play solid defense and a solid PK that could even improve more. So everybody have a great save and pleasant day. This has been a quick video on the Atlanta Gladiators and Jackson Boysman joining the postponed games, but then also a holiday breakdown on both of those teams and what they have to do going forward to have success in this year's ECHL season as they try to meet their ultimate goal of making the playoffs and winning a Kelly Cup. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Continue to subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on the easy-to-use widget.